Yo, Kuspan here. In the process of packing up my gear for SC Viper Tackle this Saturday, got a couple requests on do a loadout tie into video. So, just real quickly, minus my camo and all that stuff, uh, gonna do a quick loadout video for you guys. So, yeah, start it off. Got my. JG G36C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a stubby grip on this. Good hold. Got a Matrix 1x30 red dot sight. And the SOCOM gear slash battle axe uh, magwell conversion kit, except M4 mags. That aside. And of course, Condor one point bungee sling. No longer bungee anymore. On to the headgear. Mitch 2000, Condor. Pretty much was originally in tan. Gave it a couple coats of brown, of light brown paint and some OD green. Got this color now. Put some Velcro on it. King Arms bunny ears for the goggles. Some custom painting. Yeah, gotta love it. Arena Industries flak jack goggles. And of course the Tashion Micro helmet camera. Works really well. Been shot at a bunch of times. Take some pretty decent videos. If you guys haven't seen some of it, go back into my channel after the end of the video. Get to see some nice helmet camera action. After that, going down Shimog, tan and black pattern, keeps my neck alright, and all that stuff. Under that, got a Condor module operator plate carrier. Pretty good, not that bad of a, not that bad of a PC, pretty comfortable, works really well, has a lot of molly space on it. Not the best option, but the cheapest option, works for me, not sure about you guys. Uh, Pantac Ranger Green Admin pouch. And uh, with blood type and American flag, don't comment on the American flag being where it is and how it is. It looks cool. I'm going with it. I'm not doing an impression or anything. Uh, got five mag pouches. I'm not double stacking them, single stacking them. Pretty much. Because right now I really don't have any reason to carry an excessive amount of magazines. About eight magazines is enough for me. It's fine. Uh, my left side got a Condor EMT pouch with some medical stuff, just in case. In my experience, stuff tends to do happen. Stuff some people tend to get at least cut up, bloodied every now and then. Might as well have it. Bring it on the field every now. Bring it on the field with me. Nice to have. Uh, on the back, Condor Hydration Carrier, got the tube running through the shoulder pad, through a carbiner on the front. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Mechanics impact gloves, pretty decent, has some rubber on the top, not hard knuckle. It works, does its job, decent gloves. Have, the only issue I have with this is that some of the Velcro is actually starting to not stick as well, but that's fine. And these are not that bad. They're about $25 on Amazon, $20, depending on where you get them, though. Not bad. Pretty good. Lower. Voodoo Tactical Battle Belt. Got my, uh, this side, this side. Got my Blackhawk Serpa Holster Drop Leg Platform Custom Painted. It with a bit of paint I had lying around. Did the same thing, except more in a camel pattern, as you can see. Holding my KJW 6RP226. Decent pistol. Mag's a little hit or miss, but pistol itself is pretty good. Walking on, to, moving on to the other side. Could hold, I have two pistol pouches. Hold my two magazines that I have for my SIG. After that, I have the 
the two the double stack open top M4 pouches from Condor. Hold one holds my high cap. Then the other one holds just an extra magazine just in case. Golf course got the dump pouch. Reason why I have my setup like this is because if I am bored and I'd want to not use the vest for a short time, most likely it would happen at Tax City. Uh, I would just have at most this belt on my sidearm and my uh, G36. So nice to have a couple rounds, a couple mags for the pistol, a couple mags for the AEG. Good idea. Onto my knees. Alta Superflex knee pads. Bought these just recently. Been working real fine. And of course, I have my boots not with me right now because I'm too lazy to put them on. But pretty much, this is my loadout. And yeah, this is what I'm going to be carrying on over at to SC Viper Tactical. Whoever's over there, catch you guys over there. And. Yeah, stay safe airsofting guys.